above Earth, the Martian battle fleet stands ready to invade, standing by for the command to go from the Martian Great Leader, known as uh, the Martian Great Leader. Small Martian scout vessels have photographed and mapped every square metre of the Earth's surface, all except for a small country called New Zealand, a job left to Space Cadet Second Class Varg Mucus, who even now is hurrying to finish his map of New Zealand so that the Martian invasion can begin. It's what they do in Spain. And what has Spain got to do with your unfinished map of New Zealand? Good question, sir. Look. Way down in the bottom left-hand corner of New Zealand are some places with Spanish-sounding names like Febrero, Pendulo, and Malaspina. Of course, the first humans to arrive were the Maori. And then there was the Dutch explorer, Abel Tasman. Then the English, Captain Cook. But New Zealand was also visited by the Spanish. In 1793, the Spanish navigator Bowser sailed a boat into Fiordland and spent a quick nine hours checking out and naming the place. Senior Bowser stepped ashore on an island and was immediately bitten by many sandflies in many different places. Ow! Ay! Ow! Ay! 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 Bowser named the island Ile de Mosquitoes, which means Island of Mosquitoes. I named this island Ile de Mosquitoes, which means Island of Mosquitoes. And then left. Today, the island is called Bowser Island after that Spanish explorer. And even though he's gone, the sandflies are still there. Really? How do you know? Because I had one teleported aboard. Here it is now! Cute little sandfly landing on my head. <gasps> ah! Ow! It bit me! It bit me! Ow! It bit me! Ow! Ow! 